today's challenge, pinch training. Now let me take you back to the summer of 2021. I had just finished up high school and moved to England to study for a computer science degree. And as I was there, I tried out bouldering for the first time. Now at this point, I had been doing some basic strength training and I had been doing some calisthenics for a couple of years and I've started to develop some skills. So a bit of muscle up and a few others in the making that I started to work further on whilst I was there. And several years before, I had tried a couple of via ferratas. So once I started bouldering here, I really fell in love with it. Fast forward till today, two years after, and I'm still loving it, doing it more regularly and getting stronger. One thing I have as a big takeaway from being in Leeds and trying out bordering for the first time is seeing how good people were at different climbing holds. Crimps and the, I was about to say jugs, but that was decent. But you know, crimps and these slopey cones and doing pinches and all of this. And since I first started, I've obviously become better at quite a few of these. And I've done a few projects and a few sort of challenges where I've tried to do rather consistent finger training for, for quite some time. And some of those videos are on the channel, so I'll link to them on the screen right now. But a few things still remain. I mean, I'm still very good at pulling strength and not very good at certain types of climbing hold. And one of the things I feel I'm at the weakest at, like really can, can do some improvement with, is the pinch. So for the next 30 days, one of my friends recommended to do 30 days of pinch training. Great idea, so let's get into it. Today is currently Friday, I'll be going for a bouldering session tomorrow. So before I start the session of bouldering, I'll be doing a sort of max test and see how much I can lift with a pinch. Let the challenge begin. Just made it to the climbing gym, so going to test the pinch right now. I'm going to use this grip right here for the next couple of weeks. Three sessions a week, good couple of sets each time, and we'll see how I progress. See what the uh, starting weight is today. Let's go. Ten kilos flying, let's go. 20 kg. Yeah, hang a trot. I'm bringing out the good old trusted chalk bag. Let's see if this even moves. Working out. Seems like about two rep max for the 20 kilos. Let's add 2.5 more, five more. Good. Left arm, okay. Let's see the weaker right hand. Ah, uh, fuck it. Try 2.5 kilos. Let's see. 22.5 kg for the right arm, perhaps. Chalk up again. Oh, okay. 22.5 kg for the uh, for the right arm. 25 for the left. Or perhaps we'll do another jack jump. You made it 25. 27.5, I'll try my strong arm, but at this point, I doubt that I'll be able to do too much more, so we'll see. Nah, no chance. And for this weekend, I mean, I couldn't do 20, 25, so 27.5 would be a stretch. Seems like 25 kilos for my right hand, 27.5, no, 22.5 for the right hand, there we go, and 25 for the left. And Michael, 25 for both? Yeah. Respect. So there you have it, 22.5 kilo initial max pinch for my right arm and 25 kilo initial max for my left arm. I haven't really ever trained block pulls before, the only experience I've got is a few times flipping plates with a buddy of Magnus's gym in Oslo, so it's quite unfamiliar, but as the days pass by I get more and more familiar with it. But about a week and a half into the challenge, I get into what you might call a small roadblock. During one of the sessions, literally on the last rep of the last set, I managed to get a flapper on my right thumb. I'm gonna have to blur it a bit in post, but basically some of the skin on my thumb decided to just take a hike. Not ideal, but I continue slow and steady towards day 30. Overall, I average three sessions per week with three working sets per arm per session. I use the same pinch block for all of the pulls and make sure to have about similar technique. I mostly pull with a straight arm, 
although I tested out a few variations along the way, for example, pulling with a straight arm and then bending the elbow to lift the pinch higher up towards the end. Also, I sometimes fix my hand a bit off center on the pinch block. This allows for better pure pinching without the need to flex the wrist as much. Overall, I try to maintain similar technique, but I'm not too worried about it since it's the first time I train this sort of grip. Then it was time to test the results after 30 days. All right, just made it to the climbing gym. It's the time to warm up and test those maxes. All right, 10 kilos. All right, wait, 20 next. Alright, it's now 22.5 kilos. This is the same as the max I had for my right arm when I tried on day zero, so we'll see if I can still pull it. Seemingly pretty shaky rep on the right arm, so I'll probably take off the band aid. Don't think it's helping much with friction or anything, so we'll see. Next up, 25, max on the left arm last time, so we'll see if I can still do that and if the right can keep up. Let's see. All right, since 25 technically successfully went up, I'm gonna try 27.5 and I'm gonna add a bit of uh, music to this. Hopefully that will uh, boost my energy levels a bit more and we'll see if this is uh, possible to pull. We'll see, let's go. So there we go, energy levels peaking up a bit and I managed to actually pull 27.5 even on my right arm. Truth be told, my grip is now a bit further out. I'm not in the middle of the pinch block, but for this challenge, I figure like as long as you have your hand on the pinch block and you're not wrapping around to you get your fingers or underneath or anything, as long as it can be classified as a pinch, I'm trying it. Because the further out you go to this side, the less your wrist sort of has to also rotate in. So fair enough, I'm gonna say that's valid, 27.5 on both hands. So I guess now it's the big 30, let's go. Oh my God! Yeah. I feel as though I'm pretty close on at least my left arm, so I'm gonna give it a couple minutes rest and try again. Let's go. Yeah. Nope, seems like I'll try 27.5. I mean 28.75? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's all right. Like, overrated as f in my opinion. I mean, and you know what though? That's typically how the bullsh goes, you feel me? Confusion of the highest order. So there you go, 28.75 20, failed for my right hand, but I passed it for my left. My left felt really strong now, so I tried 30 and it went. So maybe I'll try 31.25, maybe even 32.5. Let's go for my left only. Fair enough, I'm gonna say that's a failed attempt for 31.25, but 30 kilos actually went for the left arm. If you actually consider that, it's all right to use. Uh, well, to have your hand placed further out on the uh, on the actual pinch, if so, brilliant. And another great conclusion from this video is that music definitely seems to help, right? Maybe I needed some more warm up at the start, so maybe it helps to boost some energy levels, but fair enough. So, new max, 30 kilos for my left arm, and for my right, 27.5 if I'm not completely mistaken. So some boost, but I mean the flap where I go on my right definitely didn't help, so so there's that. But yeah, pretty all right 30 days. Training's been pretty good. So yeah, I might do a couple more of these, either for pinch, for the crimp, or some other different types of grips. So let me know if you want to see something specific in the description down below. Without further ado, thanks for watching. And as always, remember to keep on training, train away love, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.